kick off with this Maharlika Fund, no? Is this good for Philippine equities in general because we might be attracting more liquidity from offshore or will that sap away the liquidity uh, that we are seeing in the local bourse? Well, uh, we see the Maharlika Fund as something that can affect uh, the, local econ uh, the local economy's performance. Uh, which in turn has a say on how the equity markets will work. Um, that's how we uh, that's how we view the Maharlika mm -hmm. Fund. On the positive note, um, yes, it could uh, it could result into investments, which in turn would prop up the local economy. However, um, on uh, on the other side, we also have to take note that um, currently. Um, uh, currently, um, we are in a tight fiscal position. Okay. Um, we are we are in a tight fiscal position. Our um, our debt uh, to GDP ratio is still above the uh, still above the favorable levels. Mm -hmm. So um, it's more of the timing, actually. Okay. That's what uh, that's how uh, that's um, our main concern with the uh, Maharlika Fund. Um, uh, as economists say, it would be best if this was done at the time wherein we are running a budget surplus rather mm -hmm. than a budget deficit. So um, these, are the cons uh, these are our considerations. Yes, it can help the local economy, but take note that um, with, with, uh, with, with moves like these, the returns will be in the long run. And um, right now, we're dealing with this uh, fiscal, uh, fiscal positioning problem. So these are the concerns that we are weighing right now uh, with respect to the fund and how it could affect the local economy.